yo guys welcome back to my youtube channel on this channel i teach you how to make money online with several skills today i'm going to be sharing with you one making mo money online niche that everybody is talking about and that is the amazon kdp amazon kdu direct publishing so in this video i'll be sharing with you the truth and the lies of the amazon kdp business in nigeria so i tell you the truth on on view my first 90 days on amazon kdp in nigeria everything you need to know the lies revealed with proofs okay why did i say 90 days because i'll be showing you proofs of how the journey has been and i'll be showing you what i've done with time so you can exactly know how this thing works okay let me say this i have a nine to five business that i do so i use my night time to work on my online business so and one of the online business i do is amazon kdp so i'll be sharing with you my dashboard so that you can really see how this thing works i'm not here to lie to you i'll be showing you my account i'll be showing you what i've earned over time so that you can make your decision if this is something you really want to venture into the lies now please take note amazon kdp is not a get rich quick scheme it's not something that you do today like as in you do today end of the month you are expecting to cash a lot of money into your uh, local bank account that will not happen so by the time you finish watching this video please stay to the end because i'll be showing you proofs so that you can really understand why you need to run from this or put your energy to get this done you see a lot of screenshots i've made this i've made that we're going to look at that today easy competition yeah, yeah a lot of it's very easy to do nothing good comes easy making money online itself is not easy so at the end of this video you yourself will decide if this is easy or not okay my number three point is also like number two minimal effort required um some people do this business as a full-time business so you can compare their results with yours so if you are doing a nine to five and you are running this business you can compare your result with someone who is doing this business on a full time this is what he does morning to evening you know he has his laptop he has his phone and this is what he does you can't say that this person result will be the same as your own result so minimal effort you guys so if you are a nine to five so i encourage you to set aside two to three hours in a day to work on this your online business okay so what is amazon kdp kdp means kindle direct publishing so in, in simple terms explain to like a five years old kid amazon kdp is a place where people can make and sell their own books so what does it entail? you go to amazon kdp website you register on the website after your registration the next thing you do is you make book to publish on that website and what happened because amazon has a lot of people who come to that platform to buy books that are helpful for them if they find out that your book is good for them they are going to pay for your book and get your book it's as simple so people buy the book you publish and you earn dollars from it simple that's all so how to make this book you guys people say oh amazon kdp so the question is, how do you make this book very simple research the selling topics you don't just wake up in the morning and say okay i want to write a book on how to make money on amazon kdp or i want to write a book on you don't just wake up and decide to write what you feel like writing no you will make money so that means you are just writing for fun if you want to write and make money you have to write on what people want to buy that means you have to research what the pain point of people are then after getting what their pain point are then you write it to solve that problem so that's why number one on this is research the selling topics 
and check trademarks so check selling topics how do you do this i will explain to you what you do at the end of this video number two number one is to research the selling topics then these selling topics you have to check them for trademarks so there are websites you go to check if these topics you want to write on are trademarks or not trademarked or not so research the selling topics and check trademark if you are done with that everything is fine the topic is selling the trademark is fine the nice thing you have to do is to get content for the topics the question is how do i get content for this topic if it's an expertise that you are so good in that means from your experience you can generate content from this but on the other way around thanks to artificial intelligence we have chat gpt and we have bad from google so you can use this ai tool to generate content on the selling topics that you have researched about. Now, after getting this content, what is the next thing you have to do? Because of this content are generated by AI, there are elements that this content can be plagiarized, some of the content. So you need to fact check if this content are plagiarized or not. So the first thing you do is you take this content and take it to a website whereby you can check if the content is a plagiarized content. Name of the website is duplichecker.com. So the content you get, put it on this duplichecker.com. It's going to analyze the content and tell you if this content are gen unique or not. So most of the time you can see the content you generate from this AI, we can tell you the content is 70% unique and 30% plagiarized. So what do you do in this situation? So what you do in this situation is that you are going to rewrite those parts of those content that have been plagiarized yourself. But if you can't do that yourself, there's also another website called qbot.com whereby those parts that have been aligned that they are plagiarized, you take them to the qbot to rewrite these for you. But if you don't want to do that, those plagiarized content, you can use your own English and rewrite them yours. Then the next thing is that you've gotten your topic, you've gotten your content, then you put all this content you've generated, put it in a, in an MS Word. So when you put it in an MS Word, you have to format this. So if you put it in an MS Word, you don't just put it in an MS Word and, and say that is the book you want to publish on Amazon. No, Amazon has guidelines. I must be honest with you. The first thing you even have to do is to read through the Amazon guidelines so that you don't make mistakes while publishing your so after getting all the content you put your content in ms word you format the content formatting in the sense that size of the book for most of my book i use 5.5 by 8.5 i set it to 5.5 by 8.5 then i use uh statements as the margin so you set all this on your microsoft word based on the guidelines that amazon word they are different that you can use six by nine for most of my books i use 5.5 by 8.5 because by the time uh it get printed it comes like a pocket size handy book so i love that those who get my book can actually take it to wherever they want to go fits perfectly into whatever they are carrying in their bags so it's not so bonky like that the size is great so the next thing is you have to design the cover for the book and what i do is i use canva for my book cover if you don't know how to design a good cover you can give a graphic designer to help you design your book cover and you publish the book so publishing the book why publishing the book on amazon kdb there are some other things you have to input which is the description of your book you can use the chat gpt or the bad ai to get description for your book also you need keywords because keywords is what sells many people are writing topics on that book but what will distinguish you from the other person is the keywords that you have put in there so we have short uh, take keywords we have long take keywords so you need to get the keywords the keywords are when the customer come on amazon and they need a book what they type on the search bar on amazon it are the keywords so if you can get the keywords that the customer are searching for so it's very easy for them to see the book that you have written on that topic so that is where the research come into place researching the selling topics and by so doing you get the keywords that are important
<clears throat> the next thing is to promote the book if you make the book and you don't promote it how you make how will you make it sell so the next thing is to promote the book how do you promote the book you promote the book amazon gives you a five-day free promotion for your book so after publishing your book amazon will give you a five-day free promotion so this five-day free promotion will give your book the visibility that is required so that when people search for your book they'll be able to see it so giving your book the visibility means you have put your book in there for five days for people to download for free so on your dash dashboard you will be seeing that your book has been bought but you won't get paid for it because you have put it on free promotion so you get visibility for your books so after the promotion then it's possible that when people search for that book again your book they may buy your book because is getting AI visibility shows that people are buying the book and somebody may decide to buy the book. Amazon also has another way you can promote your book using the countdown uh, promo. But the ones I've used mostly is the free five days free promotion. You can decide to do all five days free promotion, but some people uh, decide that, okay, you do one day, maybe you do once every week because when you put your book on promotion, that means you put your book on Amazon KDP Select. So take note, for you to have your book on free promotion, you would have put your book on Amazon um, KDP Select. That gives you the opportunity to promote your If you don't put your book on KDP Select, you won't be able to promote your book for the five days. So the next thing is, after you make a sale, it will be recorded on your dashboard and afterwards you can withdraw now a lot of people have problem with okay how do i make how would the money get into my local bank account a lot of people ask that but it's very simple and i'm going to show you i'll tell you what i do so after making the sales on your amazon kdp account you would have put an account in there that amazon is going to pay the dollars that you have earned into you get me so and you can withdraw from that dollar account you put into your NER account i'm going to show you this i've spent some time in here but i really want to explain to you so that you can understand what this is all about the next thing is what can go wrong amazon can terminate your account even if you have five thousand dollars that's why i said the first thing you have to do is to read the amazon guidance it's very important so make sure you follow all the guidance of amazon so you may publish the first book successful, the second, third, the tenth book, the twentieth book, the hundredth book, the hundredth book. But make sure while you are doing this, you are following all the guidelines. If not, even if you have five thousand dollars, maybe you make five thousand dollars in an account that you are waiting to withdraw. Amazon can terminate that account and you will be able to withdraw that money. So follow the guidance. Now, this is very important. A lot of people don't explain this and I have to explain to you. Let us know we started Amazon KDP in January. Whatever you make as a sale, whatever sales you make by selling your book in January, it will be recorded on your dashboard. But before Amazon can pay it to you, it's going to take 60 days. So let me explain. So I made this sale in January. That means February, March. Before I can get the money of the sales I make in January, that will be credited to my account my dollar account in march whatever i make in february so 60 days after february march april so whatever i make in february will be paid in april whatever i make in march will be paid in may so you have to understand this so that's why it's not a get rich and why does amazon do so if your book is being sold in january so it gives amazon the time to see if the customer is going to uh, say okay this book is not okay i have and reject the book so if the customer reject the book that means amazon will have to distort that pay. but most times uh, if you make that sale it stands most times but if the customer does not like your book they can return the book and amazon will have to detect the book so it takes about 60 days after your sales before you are paid so know this so it's not a get a uh, get rich quick scheme so but it's a business and you have to treat it like that so you have to wait for 60 days before you get your payment 
do not be deceived by screenshots. So you see a lot of screenshots. I made this, I made this, I made this. Most of those screenshots, you are going to, those people, if they make the same, maybe this is June. Anything you make in June, did I see somebody already calculating them? So you are right if you say August. So whatever you make in June, you have July, August. So the payment will be made to you in February 28th, 29th of August. So take note of that. So let me share my 90 days journey, my story. Let me share it to you right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, Amazon KDP account. Now, please take a look at this. This is 2020, October 1, 2020. This is surprising. So let me explain. So during COVID, somebody introduced me to Amazon KDP and I was able to write this book and publish on Amazon. That is October 1, 2020. The book was there. That's my name. Um, but what happened later? I did not publish any other book until when? January 3, 2023. So I just published the book and that's all. I think COVID then because it was just a WhatsApp class, the person organized it and I succeeded in publishing this book, but I never see anything again in it. It's just one of those things. So the book was there. Like, so this year, 2023, I decided to take Amazon KDP seriously as a side also. And on January 3, 2023, I published my first book. In so for this exercise i'll be using 2023 as a case study because if you can see it from 2020 is there i did not make any sale on the book because i just published it and leave it there i did not know about free promotion i just published it and leave it there. so this is 2023 so this is the first book i published so i'm going to show you this is one of my third work you can see this number two number one so let me go to number one so these are some of the books i've written building confidence for kids um so for this i can click on here if i click here it will take me to where i have the on amazon and i must be honest with you uh this year 2023 i made sale on this book i've sold some copies not one i've sold some more than one copy on this book and i have one rating on this book i'm so happy uh, so this is my first book in 2020 september october 30th 2020 so this shows that it works and i'm happy because someone gave me a review he liked the book i made so amazon kdb is all about making books that people are people are having issue they're having problem and you make a book for them to solve their problem okay let me go back so let me cancel this i can also show you this book i wrote now if you look at it this is not my rename so i made this my pen name for writing on this kind of niche so building confidence for kids a guide to so this is another book i wrote 30 easy steps to stop procrastination you can see this same name this pen name on on this so so i can close this now so now let me show you my reports because it's very important so from january to how much have i made you know, it is interesting to let you know that you may not make sales every day but sales will always come it's all about buying and selling when your keywords is out there uh, it will say remember i talked about how to make your promotion how to promote your you can promote your books using amazon 5 days free promotion or you can promote your books using amazon ads so don't forget about that so what i want to do is view royalty estimator i want to check how far i have become so let's check uh when i started that's january let's custom let's check january this june i started january 2023 did i make sale in january january 1 to 31 so let me january 1 to 31 let's check apply <laughs> january 1 to 31 you can see there i made just 13 cents which shows that whatever i made in january will be paid when in march right january february march good okay 
So I need also to let you know that when you have your book, maybe on free promotion, and people read your book on Amazon, apart from buying, people can also read your book because you have put it on KDP Select. So as they read your book, Amazon is paying you. So what happened is that the book I published in January, I had some reads. That's why you have this. I have some reads, but no sale, as in no sale, but they, they read my book. And so I was credited with this cent. Okay, no problem. This is January, 13 cents. So let's go to February because I've told you I want to make this practical so that you can decide if you are going to do it or not. So this is February. Let's see February. Wow. January was 13 cents. February was $3.87. $3.87. Now, it is not all these 18 books I wrote in, in January or February. I have all 18 books, but this is February 1, to, I have 3, but as I write the books, it adds up. So these were not the number of books I have in January. I think there were 5. As at January, maybe I had 2 or 1, so the books keep increasing. But this is what I made in February. So what I make in February now, so I will be paid in april right you get the gist so let's see what i made in march so i'm trying to make this practical so that you can appreciate this video um i don't want to tell so the lies the truth so you decide yourself if this is what you would like to do so let's check March. so it's 13 cent about three dollars so let's check march so in march 13 cents three dollars and in march i made thirteen dollars so you can see that there is some bit of progress okay um so this march so let's go to april custom april april one to the end good apply 27 dollars so in april you can see there's 27 dollars in april so last month was May, because we're in June now. Let's check um, custom, May. Remember, I'm a nine to five person. I'm not taking this as a full-time business. So I have some other things I'm doing, I'm very busy. If I've taken that, so I said, another person results, you can't compare to yours. Somebody taking this as a full-time business will have better results than me. So this is May, right? May. I had $19. So let's look at it. From January, so this year, so this year, how much have I made from Amazon KDP? $64.44. This is how much I have made from Amazon KDP from January to now decide if this is what you want to do so i need to be honest with you um in may i ran a ten dollar ads because i was hearing about amazon ads so i wanted to know how it looks like it was not a perfect ad because my results were not so good from that those ads because it was the first ad i i watched a video on how to run the ad those ten dollar has returned 33 dollars in sales so this is something is good when you are scaling you can run ads to scale but apart from that so i'm just telling you so all the truth all the lies so and that was in may in march in march i'm sorry um they had let me check may march that was the month I had the highest. Let me check again. Custom match. Because I wanted to know how they have. So I watched the video and tried. Okay. Um, what's happening? So I wanted to see custom match. Okay. Sorry. Now this $60 was showing me what I end between March and um, March and May. So look at it. March 
April, May. So that's about 90 days. So in 90 days, I earned about $60 from Amazon KDP. So, but I want to see just March only. No, 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 it was not March. Let me check. April. Let me check April. Where when I ran the ad, I had the highest sales then. So I ran the ad in April. So ten dollars ad. So I was able to return this. So ten dollars ad support in April. So I had some risk too. So this was it was not the best of ad, but I just tested it. So overall, this year. I've been able to make $64 from Amazon KDP. So if I remove my $10 ad year, that means I've made like $54 from January to now. Remember, I'm not doing this full time. People doing it full time will have better results than me. Okay, so how will I withdraw this money? Because somebody will be asking, how will you withdraw this money? So to withdraw this money on my Amazon on uh, my Amazon account, if you come to um, account, so yes, your account. If you click on your account, there is a place whereby you are going to put an account that can receive dollar. So there are many of them. So I choose gray.co. I choose gray.co gray.co dashboard i really want to make this as practical as possible so that you can make your decision there yeah, you've been hearing amazon kdp amazon kdp that amazon kdp this so for gray.co now this is the amount that i've been paid remember i've made because this gray.co i received it with the pounds account because their us account is not functioning at the moment so you can i imputed my account for gray if I click on it, the account will show. So that's what I put in my account details here. Because this is an account that can receive pounds or dollar. So let's go to the dashboard so that I can see. You know, I told you whatever I make in January, I will be paid in March. So January, February, March, you can see. That's it. So why too much? It depends on those places whereby the sales are made. If the sales are made in UK, Amazon.com or Amazon.ca, which is Canada, or Amazon.co.uk. So this, the sales, the deposits are different. So that's why you have it. So whatever I made in February, March, April will be paid in April. But I think there was a delay in April and it was paid on May too, you can see, very close to April. So whatever you make in March, March, April will be paid in May. So what I made in April, uh, in March was paid in May. So this March, so whatever I make in April, April, May, June will be paid in June and there's no June yet. So you can see, so this is the truth. So you need to decide. Overall, I have 14 point seven fourteen point seven two years then somebody will say how will i withdraw this so if you click on this you can see you can swap it when you swap you can swap to nigeria see the rate of the pounds 930 so if i say i want 14.72 sorry <laughs> i one day i will have this amount 14.72 so that is 13,554 i can confirm and i can proceed so to proceed you can see this is my account i have imputed my local bank account which can be any bank or maybe first bank gtb i've included it. so this amount will be withdrawn into my local bank account they will remove their charges and that is all so guys i've explained a lot to you on this video and i believe you are going to appreciate it if you appreciate this video like this video subscribe to this youtube channel because i like giving it to you the way it is so that you can make your decision most of the things i have explained to you you may not see it in other videos so please uh, share this video if you like it so one more thing somebody may be asking how do i start okay so there are a lot of KDP courses out there. 
there are a lot of kdp courses out there so but what i want to tell you is this i'm going to recommend some kdp courses on the description box you see them so if you are ready to start this kdp amazon kdp business to earn passive income by just spending like two to three hours each day maybe at night before you sleep or very early in the morning um, before you set up so this is what i will do so there, there, are, there are some courses i'm going to recommend so if you are new you've not you don't have any idea i'm going to recommend a course in there so you can buy the course so that you can watch and understand how the course why am i recommending that course because i have that course also that would be like my second course i'll be buying for amazon kdp but why i like that course is the creator of that course i've given you the topics the list of topics you should write about that are selling or that we sell on amazon so the, he has already curated all the topics out so it's just very easy for you to pick the topic and start writing on it and i think that's awesome for you the second one is you have already gotten a course but you are lost you don't know what to do so there's another course which is a mentorship course which i'm going to drop the link those are not my courses so i'm recommending them because i have bought those courses and i i have seen that in this industry despite all the courses that people are shouting about these two stands out so if you are gotten an amazon course before but you have lost so i'm going to recommend a mentorship course for you which the link is below and if you are new you need a recourse so i'm also going to recommend that course is in the description box but i won't if you want to buy the course and be in that mentorship group is left to you even the course you are going to buy will also have a group for you but you can it's good to be in a community so that you can know what is happening and from those community you'll be encouraged uh, to continue to write so that you won't be weary so guys uh with this video that is my story i've explained the story to you and i believe you've learned in the video so key takeaways you can make money online with amazon kdp stay positive because sometimes you mean you will be down because sales are not coming in just stay positive sales will come find the inspiration join a group of like minds they discuss amazon kdp so it's very good you can find inspiration from other people pace your work two to three hours work at least each day very important and if you want to go it on it full time, it's also possible. So you have more hours to work on this. Take care of your mind and body is very important. Uh, your mind is important to you as you write. So take care of your mind. Take care of your body. If you are if you are healthy, that is well. They will be well. Thank you guys. How do I start? I've already explained. Check the description box and click the links to get those courses right in with artificial intelligence. Everything you need to know. Those courses I want to show you. Okay, subscribe to this channel, like and share this video if you learned something powerful from it. And you can drop a comment in the description in the comment box and I'm going to answer your question. Drop a comment in the description box. I'm going to answer your question. See you in the next video. Thank you.
Ce point. Hmm? Hmm. Ah, 